The 2023 OUC Orlando Half Marathon men's winner is ready to defend his title this year. Reed Buchanan finished the race in an hour and six minutes. He was so fast, he ran much of the race in the lead all alone. Wish to Sanika Dange caught up with the elite runner who's sharing advice to help others get ready for race day. Um, it was warm. I, maybe not warm for you guys, but it was warm for me. And That was the biggest takeaway for Reed Buchanan last year, the winner of the OUC Half Marathon. It was his first time at the race in Orlando. Your 47th annual OUC Orlando Half Marathon winner. Congratulations to Reed Buchanan. I didn't even plan on doing the race. I was down there for um, the USATF annual meeting and I'd heard that there was a, a race going on and kind of decided a few days out, and I'm really glad I did. The 31-year-old long-distance runner started his professional career on the track, primarily 5,000 and 10,000 meters, before he made his marathon debut in 2020. I uh, am a web developer. Uh, I used to run professionally and just kind of transitioned um, a few years ago. Uh, but I still like to compete. Um, I, I joke around and say that I like to go play uh, games of pickup running on the weekends. I live in Kansas City, uh, go Chiefs, but I like to, you know, I like to go and race around the country. That's what brought him to Orlando, Florida last year, where he led the pack almost right out of the gate. What is going through your mind as you spend so much of the race in that leading position? Does it get boring after a while? It's more of like, I hope I didn't mess this up. Um, you know, because I, I am making a prediction based off how I feel and uh, the current fitness that I had. Buchanan says his toughest competition is himself. His hardest mile, always around mile eight. And that's when the bargaining begins. When it, when it starts to feel hard and tough, I tell myself, all right, keep it, you know, one more mile at this pace and then you can slow down. And then what happens is I get through that mile and I'm like, all right, well, you can do one more mile at this pace. It creates trust issues, but eventually I get to the end of the race. His best advice for those currently training to join him at the starting line is simple. Follow your training plan. Do your best to try and do what's scheduled on that day. You're not going to feel great every day. Um, and, you know, you might not be able to do the uh, assigned training 100% every day. But if you can do just a little bit, it's always mm -hmm. better than nothing. And you'll see that um, that compound interest stack up when it comes race day. And maybe you'll be able to give Buchanan a run for his money. Sonic Adange, Wesh 2 News. And Reed has committed to run this year's OUC Orlando Half Marathon with the winners pocketing $6,000 this year. They could be facing some additional competition from more elites too. Wesh 2 is your home for the OUC Orlando Half Marathon run with Stuart Sheldon and Sonica this year. Registration details are on WESH.com.